Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Q and today what we're going to do is we are going to look into the general overall energies that may be coming to you for the month of September in 2019. Um, I have laid out some cards. I have three stacks of cards and what I'd like you to do is make sure that you choose a pile. So this pile is pile one, this pile is pile two, and this pile is pile three. Okay, so again, one, pile two, and pile three. And if anyone is interested, I am using my favorite deck, the Legacy of the Divine Tarot deck by Cairo Marchetti. So uh, let's jump right into it. Let's see, what do we have here? Okay. Okay, and what I did was I laid out nine cards in each pile, nine for the month of September. Makes sense to me. Okay. There is one major arcana card here, which is faith. But um, if you have chosen pile number one, just generally not looking too bad. So the first card in this stack is the Ace of Cups. Now, I'm not sure if any of you may be looking for a relationship, maybe looking to rekindle a relationship, but um, if that's the case, this can definitely be some good news for you. Um, so yeah, if this is something that you want, if you want to um, find love, make sure that you are getting out, um, going to the library, going, you know, maybe to the bookstore, um, going out for a night on the town with your friends. Um, love is definitely not going to come to you. Um, that partner is definitely not going to come to you if you don't get out and do that. Um, so please make sure that you're doing that. Um, I love the Ace of Cups. It's always proven to be um, a, a, a good card for me. Um, and I hope it'll be a good card for you too. Yeah, Ace of Cups. That's good. Okay. Now, huh, that's funny. Okay, so the next card in this is the Seven of Cups. Now, some people see this as a problematic card. I don't, especially pairing this with the Ace of Cups. You just might, you know, end up having a lot of suitors, suitoresses <laughs> to choose from. Um, just be mindful of your options. And what I mean by that is don't try to get too greedy. Make sure that you fully think about the options that are available to you if you have multiple partners, um, multiple suitors. Because sometimes things may look good and sometimes the energy may feel right. And it's definitely easy to get lost in what we want um, especially if we have been without someone for so long, but yeah, definitely make sure that you, you look out and you assess all situations clearly before you make, um, whatever that decision is. So I do like to see these two together. Um, and seven is a number of creation. So what well, again while some people see the seven of cups as problematic i do not not in this situation 
All right, so the next card in here is, ooh, the Four of Coins. Now, I think that, and what I'm getting is, is that maybe you've been trying to be more financially responsible. Maybe you have been on a tight budget. I think that this is a good thing because the way the economy is starting to go now, eh, it may not be good. So definitely keep on with the saving your pennies, being mindful um, of how you spend, being mindful of what you spend on. Um, although this guy looks a little, although he looks a little, uh, I, I, I don't think that this is the same uh, energy for you. I think September, especially being that we're in Virgo now, I think that being practical about things and continuing to be practical about your finances will serve you well. All right, what do we have next? Okay. So we have the Eight of Cups here. And while many people see the Eight of Cups as a, an end to a relationship, it's not necessarily the end to a romantic relationship. We've already seen with the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Cups that if you're looking for that new love, or you know, getting back into the game, it's gonna come to you. But I don't think that this one is necessary. This card is necessarily saying an end to a romantic relationship. There may be um, an upcoming end to a business relationship. Um, there may be an upcoming end to um, your job. You may be seeking employment elsewhere because you're just fed up with all the emotional crap that goes on in your workplace. If this energy is, is is sounding a bit right to you, then yeah, go ahead and take it as that. Now there may be someone who is ending their relationship or you find that the relationship you, you just can't take anymore and you have to walk away. If that's the case, then do that. Um, we definitely have to let go of things and people and situations that no longer serve us, um, even if it's painful. So those are two different ways that this Eight of Cups can swing for you um, in the month of September, 2019. All right. Ooh, a lot of cups in the stack. All right. So the next card in this stack is the Three of Cups. Now, we had the Eight of Cups before, and now we have the Three of Cups. It's time for a celebration. Whatever it is that you left behind, whatever it is that's ending, whether it was a relationship that no longer served you, whether it was a job that no longer served you, it is time to celebrate. It's done, it's over with, you cut the ties. Now it's time to celebrate new energy that's coming into your life. This new energy is definitely gonna get you soaring high and happy, even if it's just for a little while, right? You know, we gotta take all the happiness that we can get and it's definitely good to celebrate leaving behind everything that does not serve us we just have to do it so i'm definitely seeing a lot of cups in this stack um but these are definitely definitely good emotions good energies i'm not seeing anything that would probably scare some people away so definitely celebrate whatever the ending is um that's for you or maybe coming to you um from that previous card the eight of cups and this again is the three of cups Now, here's the Major Arcana card in Pile 1, Faith. And I think that 
this card is probably the most powerful card in this stack just because you know we just talked about um looking for new love we just talked about ending relationships and leaving jobs that no longer serve us and that the time for celebrations and happiness is coming but you know what some people may not think that that's true may not think that that's coming but you know what you have to have faith and this card is you know number five which is you know in the the rws deck it's the hierophant and while the hierophant is talking about structures um institutions being set in ways here in the legacy of the divine deck it's retitled as faith and i definitely think that um you know with the year um we're in september now um december is three months away with the year almost coming to a close whatever it is that you're dealing with have faith that the situation is going to work out the best for you whatever that situation is whatever it is that you're struggling with that situation it's going to work out for you you just have to have faith um you know every day that we wake up here on earth it's a day for things to go our way it's a day for us to work on that project it's a day for us to pursue that dream that career you know whatever it is but we just have to continue having faith so be sure that you continue to have your faith all right queen of cups that's the next card now with this queen she's definitely very emotional um but emotions aren't bad this queen could be your mother it could be your sister it could be that loving person that really looks out for you that really takes care of you um if you have a person like this in your life, make sure that you are talking to them. And what I mean by talking to them is make sure that you lean on this person if needed. That's what I'm getting. I'm not seeing this as a potential partner. I'm seeing this as the person in your life that is there for you when you need it the most. Um, and for many people, it is your, their mother. Doesn't mean that this is your mother, but if it is your mother, great. Um, I think that having faith, like we just talked about before, and continuing to rely on and confide in that person that helps you out when you need it the most, I think this is definitely um, a good energy and a good sign um, for the month of September, especially being that after September, we're going to start getting into um, the fall season and the upcoming holiday season for those who celebrate holidays. There's Halloween, there's um, All Hallows Eve, um, you know, you have the Saints Day, you have Dia de los Muertos, um, Thanksgiving is coming, Christmas is coming, you know, this time period, which can be rough for some people, but if you have that person... In your life that's always there when you need them make sure that you uh you tell them that you you love you love them and, and you're thankful to them and that person along with your faith is going to help you through and help you get through whatever it is that you're going through now and if this is the person that celebrates with you celebrate with this person All right, the next card in the stack is the Three of Swords. Now, remember how we just talked about leaving some things behind? This just may be, you know, leaving it behind. And if you are in the midst of, you know, potentially ending a relationship or leaving a job, don't cry your tears. Do not cry your tears. All things must end. 
Um, it's part of life. Um, things are created and things must end. And um, with this ending, again, it's, um, it's going to be good and beneficial for you. So don't see this and say, oh, my God, oh, my God, you know, I'm scared that my relationship is going to end. All things end. Um, I've been there. Um, leaving jobs, leaving relationships, removing the people from my life that do not serve me, that are not good for my mental health or my well-being. I've been there. I've done it. So please do not be afraid of this three of swords card because... You know, the bad stuff just got to go. It, it, it got to go. So um, that is the three of cups in this stack. Um, let go. Let it go. Don't be afraid to, to, to just let go. The last card in pile one is the ten of coins. Look at all that money. Well, guess what? This money comes to you only if you get to leave the bad, leave, leave that negative job situation. You can't get the better job if you're stuck at the old job. You can't have the riches that you want if you don't start to, you know, take that chance, you know, having faith, stepping out on faith and doing what you need to do. Doing what you want to do. Taking that chance. Um, we can definitely always go for more money. But I feel like it's only going to come. And and this this richness, this, this, this stability is only going to come if you fully release everything that's holding you back. I feel like that's the theme. Um, and it makes sense. Because here in September, we're about to go into fall. What do the trees do? Here in North America, what do the trees do? They shed their leaves. Which is going to be great because once all the leaves are gone in the spring, you get what? You get new leaves. So this is only going to come to you if you're having faith. Whatever this richness is that you want, it's not necessarily money. Um, you know, the pentacles are very earthy. This could be the happiness that you want um, with with a suitor. We're in Virgo. Virgo's, Virgo is an earth sign. This could be the potential happiness that you want in a new partner. This could be a new job. This could be, um, you know, you, you're getting a stable. This could be the beginning of you um, acquiring a new home. It, it it could be all these all these these good things these good foundations but only if you let go all right only if you let go so that is pile one complete let's look and see what's in pile two All right, so I'm looking through the cards in pile two and I see that there's a lot of strong energy. Pile one was mainly um, two of the forces that help each other, that benefit each other. Um, there were cups in pile one and there were, there were two, um, Two pentacles in pile one and there was a sword but i feel like pile one was mainly cups and pentacles what i'm seeing in pile two is nothing bad because anything that seems bad um will always work out because things are always changing right the earth is always gone so i'm seeing one two three okay so there are three major arcana cards in pile two which are the emperor the high priestess and temperance and i'm also seeing some wands and a 
couple of cup cards, but the energy in this deck is very, very different. All right. So the first card in the stack of Pile 2 is Knight of Swords. Now, I'm not feeling the Knight of Swords as a person. I'm currently feeling the Knight of Swords as an energy. And this energy is very much aligning with um, the mercurial nature of Virgo, you know, which is intellectual, it's fast moving, um, it's logical. But what this Knight of Swords is really telling me is that this is an energy, it's a mental energy that feels a little heavy. It's been a little restless. Whatever it is that's been on your mind, it's, 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 it's been a little restless for you. We know knights like to kick things up um, action-wise. But I'm feeling that this energy, again, is more of a, a restless mental energy. Not necessarily harmful, but something that's restless. Something that's been kicking around in your mind for a little while. So let's see if we can find out what that might be. All right. Our first major arcana card is the Emperor. And I'm feeling that this Emperor energy is some type of structure, some type of some 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 type of, of boundaries that you are caught in. Some type of, you know, you, you need to escape but but you're stuck. You're stuck in this energy. Um, yeah, some, something is stuck. This this may be what's on your mind um, with that Knight of Swords energy. Um, so I'm not sure what's what's sticking. What 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 has you feeling a little bit oppressed? I'm not sure if it's. Not not sure if it's someone in authority. It, I'm not feeling a boss. Maybe a legal issue is what's coming to my mind. Anywho, um, this is definitely a strong energy. Um, the emperor is um, under the sign of Aries, and that energy is um, it's the beginning energy, but it's also very fiery and it's very potent energy. So. Whatever this is, I definitely can see how that is a, 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 a mental energy that's been kicking around, floating around in your mind, making you slightly restless. So the next card is the Four of Cups. And could this be what it is? Are you, are, are you in a relationship or a partnership? where you're kind of um your mind is kind of floating you're not cheating but you're kind of wondering you're kind of put the putting the thought processes together and that would definitely make sense um something on your mind you're feeling you're feeling boxed in you're feeling weighed down um and then you're kind of maybe thinking about what things may be like um even though the situation may not necessarily be a bad situation but maybe you're the type of person that um that don't like to be cooped up that don't like to be held down too tightly um maybe you're wanting more free time or maybe you're wanting more autonomy at work Maybe you're in a relationship and while things aren't bad, you know, you you may be somewhat interested in someone else. Um, if that's the case, I can definitely see how that energy is, you know, coming through kind of restless with, with the, the Knight of Swords that we had in the beginning. But let's see what else that, that's in stack too. 
Um, the next card is the Major Arcana card, the High Priestess. And this is one of my favorite tarot cards, but this High Priestess is saying that you are, what are you, are you, I don't think you're hiding anything, but maybe this is um, maybe your, your your shadow self kind of entertaining being free um, because the high priestess guards knowledge. She is a person that um you know she, she she's the keeper of knowledge she stands in that doorway and i'm not getting anything on the magical level or the spiritual level i'm seeing this more as um a guardian or a keeper of a secret so is this a person i'm, I'm kind of getting that this is a person that maybe you've spoken to about what you're feeling with the Four of Cups, um, which isn't bad. The High Priestess will keep your secrets, but um, yeah. Let's see what's what's next. Two of Wands. Okay, so we have the first card in stack two was we have the Knight of Swords. So that's that mental energy. We have the emperor, which is definitely about boundaries. Um, it's definitely about boundaries. The emperor in this situation is definitely um, keeping you boxed in. You're feeling kind of tight, kind of like you want to escape. And then you have the four of cups where you're kind of maybe thinking about other things, even though the situation may not be. Uh, a terrible one but you're kind of thinking so maybe if you've shared these thoughts with a friend which I'm feeling is being represented by the high priestess and then lo and behold the next card is the two of wands so actions choices what is it you know you, you, you gotta make a decision um as you can see in this picture, there's one key and there are two boxes. So whatever it is that's going on, this this energy of this energy of, of making a decision, but not necessarily a mental one, making that decision and then enacting that plan. Make the decision and follow up with actions on it. So if you're gonna stay, stay. If you're gonna go, go. If you're feeling like you have to make a major choice about something, I'm definitely seeing it here with the two of wands. So, yeah, this energy is is a little bit it's a little bit more of a gray energy. Um, as far as with stack two cards so far, it's a little bit more of a, a, a gray energy. It's not bad, and it's not on the the 10 highest rate of, of, of happiness and love and fluffiness. So it's, it's this energy so far in stack two is kind of in between. So decision time, decision time is definitely going to be coming. So keep that in mind. All right. So the next card in, in stack two, page of coins now this page of coins also known as the page of pentacles right this page is quite possibly the beginning of an idea or the beginning of a plan for the future I'm also getting that it could be a, a, a message, but I'm kind of getting the beginning of, of future plans here. And that will make sense because we just had the two of wands 
which is telling you to make a decision. So after the two of wands, you've made your decision and this is the beginning of, of that plan, putting that plan into fruition, um, with the page of coins, um, definitely, definitely baby steps or whatever it is that you're thinking about making a decision about whatever you choose. Yes, no, stay, go figure it out, go, whatever it is. Make sure that you, with your action, that you have a solid plan that you're going to follow up with. No one likes to be up the creek without a paddle. So make sure that, you know, these plans, that you, whatever it is you're thinking about, whatever it is that's going to be your decision, follow it up with the plans. And this is good, um, this is good foundational energy here with this page, um, you know, out of the court cards, the pages, you know, has, has a lot of time to grow, has a lot of, has a lot of time to mature. So this, this beginning of, the, of your plan, whatever your plan is to go along with the action of the two of wands, definitely can, um, definitely can, can help you out. Be sure to plan, 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 plan. Mm. The third Arcana card, major Arcana card in stack two is Temperance. Now, the Temperance, you know, mixing alchemy, that, that, that balance, finding the right balance. And I think that with everything that's going to be going on, um, per the cards in stack two, Balance is definitely going to be needed. There are some strong energies in this pile in stack two. You know, you have that emperor energy. You have, you know, making a decision. You have some mental energy. Make sure that you keep things balanced, but not only on a mundane level, on a spiritual level as well. Um, that balance is going to be important. Um and not just any type of balance, the right balance. So take a look at everything going on around you and be sure that whatever plan that you enact, that it's balanced, that it's balanced. And make sure that you are balancing out um, spiritually as well. Whatever your spiritual path is, make sure that you are balancing out um your spiritual walk with your your mundane, the, the rest of the world, the non-spiritual stuff that you have going on in your life because it's very easy to be so grounded that we forget about our spiritual life, our spiritual health, our spiritual pursuits. So um, that's definitely what I'm getting here with the temperance. Um, I'm not feeling any type of emotional um, unstableness or whatever, but I'm, I'm getting more, please make sure that you balance your regular waking everyday life with your spirituality, especially with everything that's going on for you, um, in this stack. All right. So we have the seven of wands here. Now... I'm not sure what you're going to have to defend against or take a stance on. It, it, it's here in, it's here in the pile. Again, with all this, this energy, just making decisions, just, you know, you got an action plan, everything like that. There may be somebody who don't really care for what you're going to be doing, but it's not about them. It's about you. So don't be afraid to take a stand this month. Um, if there's a situation that you're in that you just have to take a stance on, that d d don't be afraid. Do not be afraid to stand up for yourself. Do not be afraid to, you know, th this, is, this is your life. You have to be happy. And if the choices that you are making are leading you to that happiness, then do it. Screw all these other people. Do not be afraid to take that stance. Do not be afraid to put your foot down. Tell somebody you got to end a relationship. Whatever it is. Don't be afraid to take that stance. 
People will try you. And look, you just got to do it, okay? You just got to do it. Take this stand and be happy and in knowing that your stand is for your life and not anyone else's. So I definitely see that, that energy here. Now, it's so funny because usually when you say, hey, this is who I am. This is what I am. I'm not doing X, Y, Z anymore. I'm not putting up with your crap anymore. When you're defending yourself, when you're taking the stance for yourself, sometimes people get butt hurt. And then some people decide that they're not going to be your friend anymore. Some family members may not contact you as much as they used to. That is okay. Because this is not you. This is them. You took your stand. And if you find that there are some people, there are some relationships that ended because you took a stand up for yourself, that's their problem. That's not your problem. So just be aware of the potential for your friends to leave and for your friends to, you know, your friends to uh, not speak to you anymore and be okay with that because you have to live your life and you live your life for yourself. And that was pile two. I'm gonna move it out, to the, move it over to the side. And forgive me everyone, it's like 2 a.m. But I just wanted to make sure that I get through these um, general readings for the month of September for you all, so. All right, nine of swords. Ooh. Okay. Definitely have a mixed bag here. Let me see. Two my two major arcana cards. Many court cards. All right. Let's get to it. So the first card in this stack. Nine of Swords. So be prepared for some heavy mental energy. I'm not sure if you're having nightmares or if there's something that's really super heavy weighing on you. This is much more heavier than that Knight of Swords that was in Pile 2. This is definitely a keep you up at night insomnia can't sleep energy. Not sure what it's coming from, but it's definitely a heavy energy. So, um, if something is on your mind, um, something that you're worried about, extremely worried about, see if you can do whatever it is you can to get yourself out of that situation and to get whatever help that it is that you need because mental anguish is never fun. It's never, ever, ever fun. Okay, so we have the next card is the Page of Wands. And this page is signaling to me this is the beginning of action energy. Not sure if there's a new plan or new ideas or whatnot, but this is the beginning of some action energy. I don't necessarily feel that it's tied to the Nine of Swords, but it could be. Um, so if you have a, a an idea that's in your mind, something that could, you know, if this idea were to, if this idea was to, to get done, um, to come to life, this may be the resolve that you need for the heaviness of the Nine of Swords, but I'm not, I'm not feeling that connectedness yet. So I have to get to the rest of the cards and see. Now we have the Knight of Coins here. And this Knight, I feel, is, it's not wrestled like the Nine of Swords. I feel like this Knight, I feel like this is a person. I don't feel like this is an energy. I feel like this is a person that may be in your life, um, maybe in, in their mid-20s. Um, this is someone that's stable and that's level-headed. And I kind of feel like this is a person that you can talk to and get advice from. So 
if you have a person like this in your life, um, talk to them and see. Um, the earth energy is usually very, very stable and logical. So you definitely may be able to get the help that you need. Nine of Wands. Now, we have these two nines in here. Nine of Swords, and now we have the Nine of Wands. So, talk to that person so that you won't have to feel defeated. I'm not sure if this defeatedness and this, you know, taking the last stand is because of what's of the heavy mental anguish, but it definitely could be. I mean, serious mental, you know, things that are seriously on your mind, like maybe, you know, for example, not saying this is you, you know, like maybe losing your home, you know, and you're, you're trying to fight and do whatever you can. This is, this is definitely, I feel like this is a chance. This is a one last chance before this cycle of energy ends and something else begins. Um, I kind of feel like whatever this last stand is that you have to take, the situation can swing both ways. It can swing in your favor and it can swing out of your favor um, and potentially be detrimental to you. But you still have a chance. So whatever it is that's going on, you still have a chance. You have not one last chance, but you definitely have a chance to kind of right the ship um, if this is something that you're experiencing um, or if this is there's a situation in your life that has the potential to go this way. I feel like don't give up yet. Um, use the last bit of fight that you have in you to, to resolve this situation. So this energy is definitely feeling like it's the heaviest energy of the three piles. Um, the next card in the stack is the three of coins. Now this three of coins is definitely bringing some lighter energy to this pile. Um, I feel like the three of coins is definitely saying to reach out for help. Whoever's in your network, um, if you have family, if you have friends, reach out for help, um, which is definitely good. You know, pairing it with the Knight of Wands is kind of like your last hurrah. I feel like you may better get whatever the situation is, whatever is weighing on you, um, get it resolved in your favor with help from your friends, help from your family. Use your resources. This is a card definitely about resources. So please use your resources because, um, you know, it takes a village, it takes a community sometimes to really get through the tough times, but use your resources and not only use your resources to get through this, whatever the situation is, it's, it's a mundane, it's an everyday situation. It's not a spiritual situation. So you have, you know, the three of coins, which is an earth sign. That's, that's the material plane that is the everyday life that's the house situation that's the job um that's whatever you do to take care of your family but use your resources and as a team you're probably going to kick ass and get through this oh and the next card is the sun so i definitely take that as a great a great sign um you got some victory here you got some success you got some you got some kudos you got a reason to really really celebrate because yeah no one likes to be in those tight situations no one likes to be pushed to the edge of the cliff and like oh my gosh am i gonna go over this cliff am i gonna lose this fight no one you know so whatever the situation is it, it it's definitely looking like it's gonna be successful but remember to use your resources all right the next card in pile three is the six of coins now you've had this issue beginning of an action plan you you know you're getting ready to take your last stand 
You use your community resources. You use the people in your network to get you through the situation. You're victorious in the situation. And now you, you, you got to balance things back out. So whatever happened in the mundane, regular world that brought that situation, the heavy mental anguish situation to you, make sure that you rebalance everything out. Not sure if it was finances, not sure if it was losing job, not sure if it was losing partnership, whatever it was, make sure that you balance it out because you're back in the green now. But if you don't take care and balance things out, you could be back on the end that's asking for help. So be sure to balance things out get your plan laid out balance things out if it's a financial issue balance it out smooth it out so that you can be the one receiving instead of being the one um instead of being the one uh, uh, uh on the shitty end of the stick excuse my language but you want to be the one in a good space um you know, six is a number, it's two threes in here. So again, it can swing any way. But since you just had this victory with the sun card, make sure that you rebalance everything out. Right. We have another six here. So we've had some nines, we've had some sixes in here. Oh yeah, yeah. So the lovers here, is the next major arcana card in pile three. And what I'm getting from this lovers, this lovers card is that you have to rebalance. Now that you have your material, your, your mundane, your financial, your home, your job, whatever that situation was, rekindle, rekindle things with your spiritual self. A lot of times, some people think that the lovers is always about, oh, it's a soulmate. Oh, it's a marriage. Um, it, 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 could, it could be those things, but in this situation, it's not. Um, we have the two, we have the two people here. We have the arrow coming down, shooting, you know, into that fruit tree, we have the snake there. And that means this is a potential for temptation. So you gotta think spiritually and you have to find that balance spiritually so that you won't give into temptation, so that you won't fall out of alignment. Or if you're out of alignment, get back in, get back in alignment get back into that alignment. This isn't a love card. This isn't a, yeah, my boyfriend. Mm -mm. This lovers in this, in this situation, what I'm getting from this deck is that this is more about spiritual alignment, getting realigned, resisting that temptation. And whatever the temptation is, it could have been the temptation that originally brought this heavy anguish to you. It could be. I'm not sure what's going on in your personal lives, but it could have been that. Um, but again, this is, I think oftentimes being spiritually balanced, I think it's, it's overlooked. And sometimes when you're spiritually out of whack, it can cause other problems to develop on, on the material plane, on the, in, in the mundane world. So definitely get your spirituality in check. Whatever it is that you got to do, whatever your religion is, even if you're atheist, just if you have to apologize to someone, if you have to not cut someone off, but if you have to stop seeing someone, if someone's leading you down, whatever it is, get your spiritual house in check. And the last card in pile three is the king of cups. Now I'm kind of feeling that this king of cups is a person. I don't know who this person 
is for you. Um, I'm getting that it's a male, but not necessarily because it's the King of Cups card, but I'm getting that it's a male. And if this resonates with you, this is someone that's an older male. Um, I don't know who this person is or how they play into stack three, but just be mindful, just be aware of an older male that is either in your life or comes into your life. And when I say an older male, I'm getting someone that's in their 40s and 50s. That's what I'm getting. I'm not getting someone in their 30s. I'm getting someone that's in their 40s and 50s. Um, I don't think this male is harmful to you. Um, I don't get that this male is necessarily like lovey-dovey either. But something is just telling me just be aware of a male, of an older male. Not sure what they have to play. What, what part they have to play in your life. Maybe you know this person already. Maybe you don't have anyone in your life like that. But there's a potential for someone. If you don't know someone like this already, there's a potential for someone to come into your life that is this older male. You know, older if you are younger than 40. Because this person feels like they're in their 40s. In 50s, I'm getting like 45 to 55. That's what I'm getting. So, um, it's interesting how these three stacks have been very, very different. Um, so yeah, there are some a lot of interesting, uh, a lot of interesting energies floating around. And again, this is just a general reading. Some things. And this reading may apply to you. Some things may not apply to you. And that's fine. Because again, this is just a general reading um, for the energies and situations that may happen to you, that may come to you in the month of September 2019. Um, if you would like a private reading um, just for you, um, send me a message. Email me at um my email addresses they will be in the description bar below and if you can't find them there then please go to the about page you know the about page for the channel and you know you'll find my website there and you'll find two of my email addresses if you would like a personal rating i do offer readings via email if you want to remain anonymous and i do offer readings via the phone um, and if you are in the Atlanta, Georgia area, um, we can work out something for an in-person reading. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think of this video. Let me know down in the comments section if anything that I've touched on resonates with you. Um, let me know, um, your, again, your thoughts on this video, like this video, um, subscribe to my channel uh, if you like what you've seen so far I would really appreciate it um, also you can connect with me on social media I'm on Instagram and for those of you that use Twitter I'm on Twitter as well and all the information will be um, either in the description box below or on my about channel page so um, first reading for this channel um, the energies for September 2019. So um, thank you very much for watching my video and please be on the lookout for more uploaded content to come. I hope that everyone has a great day. Bye-bye.